Hello everyone, it's Laura and welcome to a brand new video. In this video, I will be redoing my most popular video at 3.8 thousand views. Well, just, mm. um, I don't even have a thousand views on any of my other videos. So the fact that that one blew up is definitely an indicator that I should redo another one. But anyway, um, I also recently hit over a hundred subscribers. So thank you all for that. I will be making a video thanking everybody properly for that in the future. But anyway, if you're completely new to Krita and you don't know where to go to download it, um, all you got to do is type it in Google, Krita, it's spelt like that. Everywhere on this page you can see the name. Um, or you can just go to krita.org if you want to go directly there. Um, then you just click on Get Krita Now and they will lead you through the steps to download it. Once you've got that all downloaded and booted up, all you need to do is create a new file. It will be here in the start section. It should look the same um, on start. Uh, what I like to do is I like, like to just go with an A4 and then create a square-ish type of thing. So I would like just repeat the one of the top or bottom values. It doesn't really matter. And then once it like opens up, then you see you have a square canvas here. Now, um, it's very important. I see here mine is set to have, I don't know what's on that layer, but I'm going to delete that layer because sometimes when you come in, you'll see over here, it only has the background layer. Now, if you draw on this layer, then it will not be transparent. So you won't be able to color in underneath your mandala. So you go to click on this plus sign for a new layer and you've got a fresh layer. Then your multi brush tool is like right underneath here you can see it's a little three-pronged brush and that's where you go to get your symmetry effect now there will be some default settings active once you boot up the program mine right now are set to have four slices Hey everyone, it's Future Avara coming to you with that information that I forgot to mention while I was recording this video. Um, during this video I will be drawing mandalas, but I won't be using my mouse for these. I will be using a pen tablet, which is uh, the common digital art tool. I have a very inexpensive one. It's not doesn't have all extra buttons and stuff, but just in case um, you you don't have one of these I'm pretty sure you'll be able to create something similar using the methods with your mouse like I think it's entirely possible it's just in this video I used a pen tablet okay anyway back to the video bye just like four little pieces of you just have to draw in one slice and it repeats itself four times but if you want to change that up to you know get more effects and such um, then you're going to want to go over here to the tool settings. Um, keep in mind that you have to have the multi brush tool selected first in order to have the options to alter that multi brush tool. Now, if two options are not, is, is not available for you, then you're going to want to go to settings and dockers and all the way down here, you're going to see that there's a tick next to tool options because I have the, mine active, but if it's not ticked, then tick it and you will be able to change all of these settings. Uh, okay. First important setting is there's different types of symmetry tool, different types of multi brush. Uh, obviously, the mandala one is the symmetry one where you can repeat it multiple times. Okay, and then there's mirror where if you draw on one side, it mirrors itself over to the other side, which is useful when you're like drawing an animal face or something like that. I'm just going to draw a quick doodle to show you the application here. Uh, I don't know, that's a random cat. It doesn't really look like a cat, but it looks like a cat on drugs. Anyway, uh, there we go. So that's how that works. And if you're in the mirror tool, you can go down here to vertical or horizontal and that will just affect vertical kind of like yeah reflects it on top and bottom like this and like that 
And then there's a bunch of other options, but I'm not really going to get too much into those. It's more just, more just going to show you how to create your mandala. There's also snowflake, which is cool, but symmetry tool is what we're going to be working with today. Okay, so I'm just going to change my color here to black so that you can see it more clearly. Um, you can show origin or not show origin. I think the default is to show the origin, um, which is just those guidelines. They are not going to be in the final piece. They're just literally guides that disappear as soon as you click off of the multi-brush tool. You'll see that they're not there anymore. Um, you can move your origin around the page by clicking on origin over here and move. Or you can reset it to the middle which is the default for it to be in the center of your canvas. Um, you can rotate it over here by just sliding that, but also the default is zero. And then, this is one of my favorite parts. It's setting how many slices you have. This is very useful, especially if you're getting further out towards the edge of the mandala. You might not be able to draw as neatly on the out, outer side here but if you go here to set it to more slices then you just have to draw in one slice and see how neat that is obviously I'm doing this quickly so it's not as neat as it can be but if you're a bit more careful with it then you can get it all nice and neat okay so you start your origin point here I usually like to start on the lower end of the brushes spectrum here so I start with four maybe I'll bump it up to like eight or something um, you can also zoom in for, for the purposes of this video I won't be zooming in and out um, but if you zoom in into one of those slices then you could get it way more accurate than I'll be doing this video I will be showing you an example of a mandala that I would get done using this method and then you'll just see that I'm starting out there this is with eight slices and then I'll bump it up to maybe 16 just to double that but yeah just be careful to remember how many brushes you set a certain section to maybe take a note of it on the corner somewhere um, maybe like yeah just turn the symmetry brush off else you're gonna have a bunch of eights and fours and whatever so you can go 8, 16, 21, however many brushes you set it to. But see how I did this on the same layer. Now you're not going to want to do that. You're going to want to do it on a separate layer. Else you're going to have a hard time erasing that later. So I got an 8. Oh, wow, that's great 8. Got an 8, 16, 21, so on. And that's now on a second layer, so I can like toggle that off and on using that little eye icon there. And then you're going to want to go back to your mandala layer. Be sure to keep your layers organized so that you don't end up maybe drawing on the background and you can't color on that and stuff like that. This is all stuff that's happened to me before. Anyway, okay. Okay, now I've gone a bit too far there, so I'll just erase what I've got here. And to the shortcut key to make your brush bigger and smaller is the square bracket. Oh wow, okay, I'm still an eraser, but it's square bracket and square bracket on your keyboard. That makes it bigger. This side's bigger and this side's smaller. That's just how you quickly change your brush sizes and everything like that. Or you can go up here and slide it back and forth like this. So you can change your brush sizes. Ooh, sorry. So you can change your brush sizes. Wow. English man. Anyway. Um, it's always nice to have dynamic brush strokes in your mandala. Like have different sizes and such be in your mandala. Ah, let me just... I hate it when that happens. But anyway. Let me just get back to the mandala here okay now I'm gonna start this one out on the eight slices here now let's just leave it on 16 over there it's it's a nice way to start now you can see that I keep doing that you have to toggle the eraser off and on and then 
I eventually realize it anyway, but anyway. Uh, then you're going to want to make a smaller brush and do a little line over there. Now, usually I would zoom in and do this so it would look a lot neater, but yeah, for the purposes of the video, I'm just going to remain zoomed out so you can see everything that I'm doing over there. And then, yeah, this is how you can start to grow up your mandala like that. And then you can go 21. But just keep in mind how many brush strokes you used because then you won't be able to go back and do that over that part. But if you're starting off a new section with maybe like a line like this and you want to go with really small details, even smaller than that, you can set it to more slices. And then, yeah. There's a quick very quick example of a mandala that you can create with simply changing brush strokes and here's some I'm just going to add some different variants in the stroke in there and that will be let's go back all the way to how many brushes we had it there we had it on 16 so I'm just going to add some variations in here some smaller bits um I don't have a lot to work with in there but you can see that I'm adding some different variety of strokes and it's already adding some dynamics to the whole mandala. Going go back to 21 and go here to the edge and for this you're really going to want to zoom in to do that whole drawing a perfect circle thing. All you're going to want to do is you're just going to draw across one slice and make sure it meets up with its neighboring slice. And that, that's how you get a perfect circle around the mandala in the symmetry brush tool. And then here you just go in the edge. And that is a simple example of a mandala using the symmetry brush tool in Krita. It's very fun to do. And if you created a new layer and you didn't draw on the background like I've done several times, you can go to a new layer and get a color, which your color selector should be up here. Again, if it's not there, you go to settings and dockers and you can go to advanced color selector. And then you have your color selector here. I always like to choose blue because I'm obsessed with it. And then if you want to color the whole mandala in the back, you can leave the symmetry brush tool on. And there we go, coloring in the back of this mandala. You can change the color and do a gradient and just have fun with it. And there we go, we have a very simple um, starter mandala. Um, I didn't go into too much detail with it. Obviously I would go in and color in all the little pieces of the mandala. And I did some basic depth effecting here. And it's something I really love to do recently with my mandalas. Just add a little bit of shadow in there and make it look like those pieces are really carved in there. 
But anyway, yeah, that's the basic mandala right there. And uh, thank you for watching this video. As I said before, if you like it, leave me a like below. Maybe comment if you watched the previous tutorial. Comment on whether you think this one's better or areas that I can improve on. And uh, I would just like to say thank you to all of those who subscribe and who have subscribed to get me to 100 subscribers. I really appreciate it. And that would be the video. Thank you very much and bye.